Hello and welcome to the video. Matthew here and we're looking at question one from the Junior Cycle Higher Level Sample Exam paper. This is a numbers question on fractions and factors. It's probably one of the easier questions on the paper and I don't think there will be too many difficulties with it. So let's get into the video. So question one, A, part one, asks us to write the numbers 3 and 125 into the three empty spaces in the boxes below to make the statement true. You can only use each number once. So it's something over 5 plus something over something else is equal to 24 over 25. So our numbers are 3, 9 and 25. So the first number we can put in is 25 as the denominator of the second fraction that uh, has no denominator. As we know that the fraction that we want it to be equal to has a denominator of 25. And uh, as 3 and 9 don't go into 25, then we know that the only way to get a denominator of 25 is to have the 25 as the denominator of the second fraction. So let's write that in. So now we're left with um, some number over 5, and it has to be either 3 or 9, plus some number over 25. So now we're left with some number over 5, so either 3 or 9, plus some number over 25. Again, either 3 or 9 is equal to 24 over 25. So the next thing I'm going to do is to get, um, to see what 3 over 5 is equal to if I was to put it over 25, and to see what 9 over 5 is equal to if I was to put it over 25. So 3 over 5, um, so the denominator is multiplied by 5, which means we're going to multiply the numerator by 5 which will give us 15 over 25. And now we're going to try the same thing, but for nine, so nine over five, uh, and what's that equal to over 25? So again, that means multiplying the top and the bottom by five, and nine by five is 45, which is larger than one, and we know our answer isn't even larger than one, 24 over 25 isn't larger than one, which means it cannot possibly be nine over five, which must mean that it's three over five to give us 15 over 25, basically, uh, plus nine over 25, and of course that will give us 24 over 25. So that's our answer for A part 1. Now let's move on to uh, A part 2. So A part 2 wants us to write the numbers 3, 5, 9 and 25 into the empty boxes below so that the difference between them is as large as possible. Again, we can only use uh, each number once. Now, whenever we have fractions like this, and when we're taking one fraction from the other, to get the difference between them to be the biggest, as large as possible, I should say, what we want to do is we want to get the biggest fraction and we want to take the smallest fraction away from that. So we want to get the biggest one at first and then the smallest one second. So part two of the question gives us uh, four numbers again, three, five, nine, and 25, and it wants us to put them into, into empty boxes below so that the difference between the two fractions is as big as possible. So whenever we have two numbers, so like in other words, fractions are just numbers. So whenever we have two numbers and we want to get the difference to be as big as possible, ideally we want to take the smallest number away from the biggest number. So the biggest number will be first and we're going to minus the smallest possible number that we can make from that. So in the first box there, or in the first fraction I should say, we want to get the biggest number possible. And when we have a fraction like this, we want to get the biggest number over the smallest number will lead to the biggest uh, fraction. So for example, 25 over 3, that's the largest number over the smallest number. And, you know, that's equal to 8.3333, which is the largest number that we can make from those as, you know, for example, if I do 25 over 5, that's just equal to 5. And then 25 over 9 is equal to 2.7777, and we round it up to 2.78. So, I mean, you can see there that the uh, biggest one we get is always when the biggest number is on top and the smallest on the bottom. And it doesn't really matter about what other numbers we can put on top as 25 is the largest. So it's going to be 25 over 3, and then we're left with uh, 3 and 9. So, sorry, we're left with 5 and 9. So it's 25 over 3. And then when we, we want to take away the smallest number possible, so we have 3 and 9. So that's 25 over 3 minus some other fraction. So we're left with uh, 9 and 5. And we want to make the smallest number possible of either 5 over 9 or 9 over 5. And 5 over 9 is smaller than 9 over 5. So therefore we can say that it's uh, minus 5 over 9. So what we've done there is we've written the largest number first and we've taken away the smallest number possible that we can make. And that will give us the biggest difference possible between both of those fractions with the numbers that we were given. So that's uh, a part two of the question done. Now let's move on to the final part of the question, part B. So part B tells us that a positive whole number has exactly four factors and then one of the factors is nine. So we now need to work out the number. So if you know that one of the factors is nine, so what we're going to do is we're just going to write out um, all the multiples of nine as if, it, if one of the factors is nine, that means it has to be a multiple of nine. So obviously the first one, the first multiple of nine is just nine. And the factors of 9, that only has two factors, so it can't be 9. The next multiple of 9 is 18. And the factors of 18, 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And that's six factors, so it can't be 18. So we'll try the next multiple of 9, which is 27. So the factors of 27 are 1, 3, 9, and 27, which is four factors. And that's exactly what we want, four factors. 
So therefore, our number is 27. It has exactly four factors, and one of these factors is 9. So that's our answer for part B of the question. It's the end of the question and the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching.